This video explains how to fix your printer when you have a carriage jam error message on your computer. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If the printer doesn't turn off, it may have a paper jam, which we'll talk about shortly. If it turns off, wait 30 seconds. And then press the power button to turn the printer back on. This resets the print mechanism. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Once the printer is back on, try printing a self-test page to see if you receive the message on your computer again. To print a self-test page, first press and hold the power button, and then press the cancel button. Release both buttons at the same time. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. Clear the paper jam from the back of the printer first. Remove the paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Go to the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord from the back of the printer. Remove the rear access door or the duplexer. Check the printer for jammed paper. If you see paper in the printer, remove the paper by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. If you're using a duplexer, push the latch on the top of the duplexer and lower its cover. Gently remove any jammed paper from the duplexer. Make sure you remove any torn pieces of paper from the duplexer to prevent future jams. Close the duplexer cover. Reinsert the rear access door, or the duplexer, into the printer. Go to the front of the printer. Check to see if paper is jammed in the front. Be careful when removing paper from the front, it can damage the printer. Lift the top cover of the printer. Gently remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all the small pieces that may tear off. If the paper tears while removing it from the rollers, Check the rollers and wheels for any remaining pieces of paper. If all the pieces of paper are not removed from the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Use a flashlight to make sure you've removed all the small pieces of paper from inside the printer. When you've removed the paper, close the top cover. Go to the back of the printer, and plug the power cord back in. Go to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn the power back on. The printer will reset itself. As it resets, you will hear the printer preparing to print again. It may take longer than it usually does to turn back on. Try printing a self-test page again. To print a self-test page, first press and hold the power button, and then press the cancel button. Release both buttons at the same time. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. With the printer turned on, open the top cover of the printer. The carriage may try to move into the access area. If so, allow it to move into that position. If the carriage does not move, press and hold the resume button until the carriage moves to the left. Go to the back of the printer. While the printer is still on, Disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. 
go to the front of the printer. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Make sure the carriage can move freely by gently pushing it to the left and then to the right. This helps find any obstructions that might block the movement of the carriage. Close the top cover of the printer. Go to the back of the printer. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Return to the front of the printer. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Try printing a self-test page again. To print a self-test page, first press and hold the power button, and then press the cancel button. Release both buttons at the same time. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Improper placement or installation of the print heads can cause the printer's carriage to jam. In this step, we'll remove and reinstall the print heads. Open the top cover to access the print heads. The carriage should automatically move all the way to the left. If it does not, press and hold the resume button on the printer control panel until the carriage moves all the way to the left. Be careful not to proceed until the carriage is on the left side of the printer. Lift the blue print head latch. Next, lift the blue handle. Then, use the handle to pull the print head straight up and remove it from the printer. Repeat for both print heads. Once both print heads are removed, you can reinstall them into the carriage. Install each print head into its color coded slot. The label on the print head must match the label on the print head latch. Press down firmly on each print head to ensure proper contact. Lower the print head latch and snap it into place. Some pressure may be required to ensure that the latch engages properly. Close the top cover. The printer will print an alignment page. If the alignment pages print successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the pages do not print, continue on to the next step. If the error message still displays on the computer, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. To check the power, first turn to the back of the printer. Disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the power cord from the power strip or surge protector it's plugged into. Plug the power cord into a wall outlet. And then plug it back into the printer. Go to the front of the printer and try printing a self-test page again. To print a self-test page, first press and hold the power button and then press the cancel button. Release both buttons at the same time. The self-test page prints. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. Sometimes, the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. Make sure the printer is on. If it's off, press the power button to turn it on. Go to the back of the printer. Without turning the printer off, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Next, disconnect the power cord from the wall outlet. Wait at least 15 seconds. Connect the cord back into the wall outlet. Then connect the cord back into the printer. Go to the front of the printer. If the printer does not turn on by itself, press the power button to turn it on. Try printing a self-test page again. To print a self-test page, first press and hold the power button, and then press the cancel button. 
release both buttons at the same time. If the page prints successfully, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. If the page does not print, continue on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.